When I say bananas, you say peppers. And the other day I thought I had a genius idea to take sunglasses, somehow affix them to the camera lens and make a cool filter, but I can't figure out how to attach the sunglasses specifically to the lens area yet so we're working on that also do we feel like this is a good match for what i'm wearing today i mean i know i am so on point and absolutely fashionable or should i have these Ooh, i love the way that red sunglasses look but i swear they are one of the most disorienting colors to staple to your eye holes so while i feel like this is more goodly this is more practical for vision. These would even be more practical. I should do like a freaking sunglass collection video. Ew, we're gonna go with these. Uh, anyway, the point of today's video is not to try on sunglasses. Uh, the point of today's video is to open something very, very special that was quite a surprise to my life. I don't know if I'm still quite 100% accepted this flavor. Glacier Cherry. Did anybody watch my last T vlog on Graveyard Girl? Because if so, Glacier, Gla Glacier, Glacier Cherry was also featured in that video. And I thought that I 100% committed to this flavor choice versus Lemon Pepino, which is my normal sacred Gatorade choice. But now I don't know. That was like my third sip. Also, my own hair is sticking off the bottom of it and that wow more than one strand this is disgusting okay pretend like you didn't see that welcome to the real point of today's video now that we're three minutes in i accidentally opened a very awesome swamp family slash possibly banana peppers package because i have the same p.o box and when we do banana peppers mail unboxings and swamp family graveyard girl mail unboxings it's all the same mailbox so sometimes i don't know I just kind of assume everybody who's on this channel is subscribed to my main channel, but I don't know. Normally I am really good about keeping uh, like Swamp Family Mail slash Banana Pepper Mail packages separate from PR packages. And normally I don't like accidentally open any like subscriber mail, but occasionally I stack it all in the same general area. And sometimes I start rapidly with extreme veracity just tearing into boxes blah, blah, blah. i was about to say like i was looking for a can of spaghettios but that that analogy makes no sense but anyway i accidentally opened this package and when i opened it i was like oh my god this is amazing and there's so much in here i feel like it should have its own little moment. Also, I thought it was perfect to bring to this channel because I've only made one other video like this, I think one to two years ago. If I remember correctly, it was like kind of one of the first videos that I ever made on this channel where I got my first ball jointed doll. Now I've just revealed to you guys this, well, the title of the video probably did that already. Also, I don't need this today, but I thought you guys would want to know because I brought it up in the last Banana Peppers video that I couldn't find my special box cutter. I found it. I wrote exactly what was on the exterior of the box, um, on the exterior of this box. It did not come with a letter or anything unless we start to dig in here and maybe there's a letter somewhere inside. The name escapes me how to pronounce, of course. We're gonna give it a good college try. It was actually abbreviated from ML. So I'm just gonna try and say the first name, which is Merlades. Merlades. I love that name. It literally sounds like a name that would come out of like a uh, Knights of the Round Table, you know? Right? Merlin? Guinevere? Arthur? It's kind of boring. It's kind of a boring name in comparison to Merlin. The box just also said on the exterior, with love, a box full of friends. So without further ado, let's just pop the top and right on top. So this is literally what it looked like. And I was like, oh, what is this? Look at this. It's so cute. I, I guess these are socks. And these look like a little pair of bloomers. Then the next layer, 
This looks like an old, like, if any of you guys lived when you would go get pictures developed, like with an actual camera, it looks like an old pouch that they would like give you your picture prints in. But, oh my God, okay, this is like a certificate of some sort. Oh my God, this doll, I guess is from 2011. I'm trying to get more into like understanding this doll community of like, I don't know if ball jointed dolls and Blythe dolls are kind of one in the same, but this is really fascinating. So like basically what I'm trying to say is I don't know anything about like the companies or the designers or the artists yet, but this is pretty cool. Certificate of Authenticity. Little Red Riding Hood version The Hunter. I don't know what any of that means, but it sounds very exciting. Um, and then this is what is in this box. Oh my gosh. Okay, so um, this little thing right here has feet. So I'm assuming that this is the doll and then we'll go through and look at all the little accessories and, uh, and, and dress, this little, dress this little dude up. So here we go, bubble wrap, bubble wrap, and uh, what, oh, there's like um, plastic in front of the, oh my gosh, <gasps> oh, I'm moving her little arm. It has that same logo on it where it says Lottie, I don't know what that means, but also, oh my gosh, look at the magical little face bubble covering and look at her face oh she's doing something funny with her arm um oh my gosh this is so freaking cool maybe i should like turn the head around um wow oh my gosh she's so cute okay um ew <gasps> she has like purple eyes like when I first just unwrapped her I thought that they were brown eyes but they are I hope you guys are gonna be able to see with the camera lighting because it does they do look almost like a dark lavender purple this is amazing okay um so let's keep going because it looks like we have hair in here we have little outfits I am very excited look at that what's going on here this looks like an emo haircut and I'm all about it. That's kind of what I want to do with my hair right now. Uh, so she has a little tiny wig in here and it's brown um, with like a little strip of blonde. So let's go ahead and put this on your little head. Oh my gosh. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm trying to just like smush it on there. Oh, okay. That feels... Oh! Oh, she's so cute. Look at that. Oh my God, I cannot get over it. Um, I think I, oh, wig flew. I feel like I uh, started to get into looking at these dolls more and more based on my fascination for Ita bags, which I've mentioned that on this channel as well. But I have been seeing people that do a combination of Blythe dolls and Ita bags and they like put the dolls in a bag and then decorate the bag. It's like part of the bag decoration. Mind blown. This is a little dress that she has. It's so adorable. Blue with a little apron. You know what? I'm gonna just show you guys everything that we have in here and then we'll stop and put some stuff on. So that's what the dress looks like without the apron. And oh my gosh, it feels so magical and soft and vintage. <sighs> Um, also on the side that the doll was on, it looks like we have these cute little stocking socks that are blue with white stripes. I almost said black and white. No, they're not. Oh, I know I'm just gasping and saying, oh my God, everything I touch, but it just gets cuter and cuter. This is a little pair of shoes. This whole outfit kind of looks a little Alice in Wonderland, right? Like the stockings, the little shoes. I hope I'm even gonna be able to show you. Oh my God. They have like a little pearl bead detail on the sides. I'm trying to think of what these shoes are called. Mary Jane's, loafers. Somebody help me out with this. Um, and then the insides. 
Oh, I wish you guys could see. Hopefully you can. Like the insoles actually have like a pattern to them. They look like a little floral paisley. Like it looks like a real branded shoe. Do you know what I'm saying? It looks like a miniature human shoe. So many details. Things that I don't fully understand right now. We have two bits of string. That's going to take some help in the comments or some videos on YouTube. And then, much to my complete surprise, we have eyeballs. This whole experience reminds me of one of my favorite episodes of The Twilight Zone, which is I Sing the Body Electric. If you haven't watched it yet, you should watch it. I'm just rolling eyeballs out of a bag. At, I think it's like six in the morning right now. Yes, 5.57. My sleeping schedule is so wacko all over again. Wow, these are like blue glass eyes and they are beautiful very impressive. I don't know how to change the eyes. There is like a seam here so I'm assuming I could just pop open the cranium. I think that like putting the eyes in doesn't it involve like some kind of <laughs> I don't even want to call it ticky tack but you know what I mean. I think it involves like some kind of like putty process to help keep the eyes in place. That was all the goodies on the section that she came on. So now we're beginning on this side, which looks like, oh my God, there's a head rolling around in here. Oh, <gasps> okay, look, maybe I can just open. No, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, I can't, oh my gosh. <gasps> Shock and surprise at every turn. So this one is magnetic. I don't know if they're all magnetic. If just this one is magnetic. Ooh, okay, I'm just gonna set them in there, but yeah, they like won't stay on their own and my freaking camera is overheating already. I can't even believe it. I love this camera. I'm sure I've said this before, but I can literally only film 10 minutes at a time before I let it cool off and then finish. Oh, that's so cool. Look at the little face. This is absolutely amazing. Okay, I'm gonna just keep going and we'll see how far we get before the camera is like, no, I don't think so. This literally was kind of the first thing that caught my eye and I'm not sure if it's for another outfit in here or if it goes under the Alice in Wonderland dress because it is an adorable little petticoat crinoline skirt. So any skirts that she wears, this is just gonna like poof them out. Oh. <laughs> I didn't even see these at first. Look at these. They're like a little pair of blue jeans and they have an actual miniature shop tag on them. But look at that, little belt buckle, little pockets on the little butt, little butt holder pockets. Next, oh, maybe this is the dress for the crinoline. Yeah, that really would look so cute. So it is like a white, ruffly dress and they all have these teeny tiny little zippers in the back for those of you guys who love miniature stuff like when we unbox like the seven surprise real grocery balls i could see you guys loving these as well this is so cute i bet that this is meant to go with the blue jeans but it's like a little I did not even know that this front thing is a pocket, but oh my gosh, look, it's like a little cat hoodie, little polka dot sleeves, and it even has a little tail accent on the back. That's so cute. So she can put her hands in the front pocket. Why do I love things, love, love things like this? Up next, we have a little hoodie. So this would be so adorable with the blue jeans as well. It snaps up in the back and it also has a little tag. The tags say T-T-Y-A. Maybe those of you guys watching this in the Blythe slash ball jointed doll community would know. Um, T-T-Y-A jeans, so cute. Up next, we have little pantaloons, little bloomers, just my style. Yes. Next. Oh, it's like I predicted the future because I said black and white stockings for the blue and white stockings, but there are black and white stockings and it looks, oh my gosh, they're like little panties. So we have little black and white, or are these navy? No, these are black and white, I think. Um, little black and white stockings and little panties for her little butt. 
so she doesn't have to be a little naked. That's like the littlest pair of underwear I've ever seen. Next are these mittens or socks. I don't know. I really cannot tell. Um, they look really fancy, whatever they are. They've got these little like pearl accented buttons. You know what? It honestly looks like they would go perfectly with the little pearl accents on the Mary Jane shoes, but this is what they look like. They're like sheer and gauzy. And then they've got um, cuffs, which I'm still like, socks, gloves, which is it? Then we have hands, just a bag of hands so that she can do different gestures, peace signs, hands out, you know, stop in the name of love. The last accessory, oh my gosh, is this blonde wig. And I think that it's in curls. I think that's what these little paper tubes are. Yeah, oh my gosh, this is, this feels so soft. This feels softer than my own human hair, mind blown. Um, but this is amazing. It's actually like little bits of plastic or straws. That's what it is, it's two straws put together keeping all of the curls set and in place. So that's what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go ahead and remove all of the straws out of the bottom of the wig, let the camera cool down for a couple of minutes, and then uh, um, should I get her dressed off screen and then just show you guys what she looks like? I feel like I have so many adorable clothing options that we need to do at least one wardrobe change. I'll be right back. Oh my gosh, so adorable. But also, I think I went a little bit overboard because I was like, mm, what do I want to dress her in first? Oh, I know. Everything. Everything all together, all at once. So I put on the Alice in Wonderland type dress, the little apron that that came with. And then under that, I was like, let's put the crinoline. And then under that, I was like, let's put the little pant pant pantaloons. Is that the word I'm looking for? Um, So cute. Uh, also, of course, I put on the little shoes, hopefully you guys can see them. I definitely think that I went overboard um, with all the layers, but it's so, so cute. So the only thing that honestly, I could use a little help for in the comments, if you guys know anything about dolls like this, I am having a little bit of trouble with this wig cap um, fitting on her head. It seems like it's a lot smaller than her head. I've been trying to like stretch it out and stuff, but I obviously don't want to like ruin the wig because it is so beautiful and so soft. But yeah, I can't get it to stay on her head. Like I even tried to like flip it inside out and then like press it on. Oh my gosh. Um, so yeah, so, so adorable. But definitely I think that this is the only hair that's gonna fit her right now, but it's so cute. Also, I don't know how to switch the hands yet. I kind of thought that it was just gonna be like a snap-in thing, but I think you have to like somehow restring them because I was gonna give her the little um, piece hands. But yeah, I don't know. I think that that's like a whole process that I do not have the knowledge for yet. I'm gonna go ahead and put the white dress on next, and then we'll finish up with the little like jeans hoodie ensemble. Ta-da! Dress number two. So this time I just left on the little pantaloons, the little shoes, uh, but I put this dress over it because I was trying to make it look like less poofy. I still love how it's like so long though. It like covers her feet. It's so adorable. It literally does look like a teeny tiny little person. Like I feel like the hands and the face look so alive and expressive. It's just an experience. Okay, now um, the outfit that I'm probably most looking forward to is the cute little like um, cat hoodie. So we're gonna put that on with the jeans. I don't know if I'll be able to layer the hoodie over that, but we'll see, we'll see what we can do. I hesitate to admit to tell you guys how long it took me to put these little blue jeans on her. And when I tell you, it was a process, it was a process, ankles twisting, feet backwards, but 
we finally got it done and I think that this is my favorite outfit. The little cat pocket thing is just so adorable and her hands will bend so that she can put her hands in the little cat pocket. It is so, so cute. I feel like this is a whole nother hobby right here. I feel like I don't have the legs twisted right because it's like she does want to just sit now that she's in these jeans. I feel like they're a little constrictive. Oh what my god. Have, are we gonna rabbit hole down this hobby too? You guys, I feel like every year I discover a new type of doll and then run with it. Thank you so much to ML for sending me this amazing surprise box and if any of you guys know anything about this doll, these dolls, I would love to hear it. Like is there a specific type of clothing, like a specific size of eyeballs? I don't know, like if we want to dress her up in a different type of wig or something. Does anybody know anything about L? Oh, I guess the whole name is Pure Lottie or Lottie Dolls. September 27th, 2011. Is that your birthday? Because if so, you share a birthday with my little teeny tiny doll baby. Thank you guys so much for hanging out today and for watching, for having this experience with me. Let me know if you guys are into this kind of stuff and please help me out and correct me in the comments down below because I'm learning and I don't really know if there's a difference between Blythe and ball jointed dolls, if they're kind of the same thing, if the terms are interchangeable, I could probably Google that, but I'd rather ask you. Until I see you guys again, stay happy, stay healthy, stay sassy, stay banana peppery. I just poked my own mouth. Jeez. If you guys are not already and you'd like to be, hit the button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Banana Peppers Squad today, and also you can hit the notification bell if you'd like to be notified every time I upload a new video to this channel. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see y'all again very, very soon. Bye!